show you my coffee. Here was the Starbucks morning. Ooh, I can have a drink of it because it melted now. It was a very strong burnt coffee this morning. And now I'm on to my second water. Tony's at the wheel today. And we're now headed up through the ag country and boy it's dry and dusty over here with lots of signs about how they want the dams back. I don't know that much. I know a little bit about the drama, but I don't know enough to have an opinion. Well, I have a strong opinion, let's put it that way. We're down to 80 degrees. Oh yeah, it's down to 80 degrees outside, which sounds yummy. It's like the perfect temperature on the planet as far as I'm concerned. But we're in the car, it's air conditioned, so it's the perfect temperature all the time. I am, and I'll flip you around, I am in my lap, back to knitting finally. I'm unpicking my poorly installed sleeve and I'm going to attempt to reinstall it. However, I still don't have, because I was stupid, I didn't bring pins with me and um, so I'm going to have to try and figure out a way to divide this into four pieces and mark it somehow without any proper materials. If if I, I'm not going to put it in badly again, so if I... Um, Oh, you have pins? Oh, maybe I'll just unpick and wait till we stop. Apparently, Tony packed gear. I didn't pack gear. I left my pins because I have a set of pins in Arizona and I have a set of pins in Oregon and I didn't plan ahead and I didn't do it before we left. So, uh, yes, so I will have pins. Clippies would work the best, but pins will do and pins are what I have down here. Oh, if I have clippies, I'll use clippies. I just need to mark it. Oh. Well, yeah, that has been an issue. We keep moving stuff to make it easier to find, and then we forget. It's really fun. But that's what's happening this morning. If we have any other off-road adventures, I'll definitely tune you in so you can see it. But I'm pretty sure today is going to be anticlimactic in that area. But maybe if we hit uh, Reading fast enough, we can go to a couple of antique stores, and maybe there's something else we can see. Anyway, um, it's a little bumpy right now. Um, I'll let you go for a while and I'll tune back in. Maybe I'll give you a little montage of the um, almond trees because they're the only green thing around right now. Our little side trek to Highway 99 off I-5 because there was a backup, you know, yada yada, caught you up, right? Well, our trek to 99 was through Los Banos, because it's not a tilte N, Los Banos, California, or Banos, I don't know. Their words are Banos, Los Banos, California. And um, I went to Urban Dictionary to see if there was a Spanish word without the tilde N, and apparently there isn't. And the Urban Dictionary post by somebody who was clearly dissatisfied with Los Banos, California, said that there is nothing, and I'm quoting this, shittier than Los Banos, California, and that um, the town is worse than toilets. That toilet, it's, that it's, what did he say? It's um, giving toilets a bad name or something like that. But I'm going on the record with saying it's not that bad. There's a Starbucks there. And the toilet in the Los Banos Starbucks is the cleanest toilet we've been on in this entire trip. And we were at a Starbucks toilet yesterday in, oh God, I've already forgotten the name of it. Barstow. In Barstow, California. That was the dirtiest toilet I've ever been to in a Starbucks. Now, the dirtiest toilet I was in on this trip was a nasty little gas station south of Kingman. Oh, not nice. Not nice at all. There were flies. And I will reverse this in a moment so you can see. But we're not swimming. We're crocheting. And Tony is knitting on her, on her sweater. I don't know if you saw that here. There. Tony's sweater. Uh, I'm trying to get your face in it. There. Are you in it? I don't know. I can't tell the sun. It's kind of sunny. Sorry, I tried. Um, so, I couldn't figure it out. I have to reverse it, and then I can look. But I didn't reverse it. And then I have sewn in the sleeves of my sweater. And I'm now crocheting around the neckline with some hit and miss. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, the sleeves, just believe me. Pin, pin, pin. Divide it in half, put put a clip at the top, clip at the bottom, to take the fourths, put a clip fourth away round, fourth of the way round. 
put a clip in between each of those clips and the clips worked great by the way and Kelly I think has shown you these guys I'll show you where to get these guys I don't carry them in the shop because you can get them cheaper on Amazon than I can ever afford and it comes in a cool tin um, the uh, so those clips are magical and then you use the I used well I used a variety I didn't just use a mattress stitch because as you go around the neck, you're doing parallel knit stitches, you're doing end-to-end -end stitches, and you're doing side-to-end stitches. So you have to kind of alter your strategy as you go around. And I'll show you that at some point someday when I have a camera in a holster that I can show it to you with. But um, I did that, so the sleeves are in. Work from the armpit to the top of the shoulder. Do not get cocky and work all the way around, starting at the armpit and then just going over the cap of the shoulder and back into the armpit because guess what will happen? You will have extra sleeve when you're done and you'll end up with gathers in your armpit. Not a good idea. Guess what I tried to do on one of my sleeves today? Yeah, guess what I got to do instead? Unravel it and do it again. So I've now had these sleeves in and out, I don't know how many times, at least three. And I recommend do what Tina says, not what Tina does. Um, so now I'm crocheting and I'll flip it around and I'll show you what I can show you. So, the pool, first of all, priorities, right? Our feet on the lounge chairs and the pool. And then the sweater with the sleeves in. I'll try and either get you a mirror shot tomorrow. Maybe, I don't know if I'll do it tonight. I might be too tired. There's the other sleeve in. And then what I'm doing is, let's get this to focus. I am doing a little pico edge. So slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch. And then as I went around the side, yes, that's the wind making all that noise. When I turned around the side, it started getting a little roughly. So I went to slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch. And then as I got down to the V right here, I did four stitches of slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, and then I'm going back up to two and then three around to the back. So that's all, and I'll show you what that looks like. That looks like that. It looks like that. And it's still rippling a bit, but I think it'll block out. It's not rippling too much. But the reason I'm not knitting a rib around the inside of that neck is even though I ripped it back and made it longer, remember that months ago? I didn't make it deep enough. And so if I put the V back in, I'm gonna be having a crew neck instead of a v, my deep V that I like. So note to self on the next sweater, make the V much, much bigger so it's got room for ribbing. All right, I'm back. I know, I've, I always talk after I'm ready to talk to your face again or my face to your face anyway um that's the progress on the t-shirt it will be done this evening i am planning on finishing it this evening and then it's just hide ends and then i'll wait till i get home to block it because we're home tomorrow we are on the last leg this is our last night in a hotel room and then tomorrow we drive home so i will be home for sunday i'll be home for thursday night nick group at least I don't know if we're going to get to have Saturday because Saturday is uh, my daughter's coming into town. But I'll see. Maybe Tony will host Saturday if they're not busy. But we'll see. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.